Hey everybody, it's Bazooka. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time... We, uh... Went towards the waterfalls. We did some stuff over there. And, um... There was like a path on the side. And then we came over here to this bridge. We did some quest items because there was a no pun merchant over... Over that way. And we did three of the four quests, and we cross. We have to cross this bridge. I don't know if we have to, but we're going to. Bridge two. Looks like there's an ether deposit down there. Looks like I could have kept going too. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. In between parts, I did explore that waterfall a little bit more. And there is a red orb item up that way. It's just uh, the Magnar uh, water. I think that's all it is. I don't know what its purpose is, but we got it. What do we have over here? An orb? Rhubarb honey, or honey rhubarb even? A bunch of enemies. Excuse me, enemies. <laughs> Don't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No? Okay. I'm looking at the map up there, but... There's a digging spot, but I'm on the wrong side of it, but look at it. By the looks of it. There's a red item over there. Let's snag that, too. Ancient document. Okay. Looks like there's an ether deposit up here somewhere. Ah, over here. Surrounded by bugs. And a blue orb. Pay no attention to the little people walking underneath you. Black iris. Earth ether. Pretty Earth Crystal. Ooh. Alright, well that's that. Um, I thought this was the way to go, but looking by that counter, it's not at all. So we'll continue on. There's another bridge on the other side. We'll cross that one. I kind of saw it when we were crossing over. Uh, let's not go near the giant caterpillars. Or the nebula. Yeah, that's a pterodactyl. I could go for a pterodactyl burger right about now. <laughs> Let's see. Uh oh, I think it's Sony. Bridge three. It did see me too. I think. That's fine. Oh, look at that! It's like vines trying to reach up to the sky. Cool. Anyway, we're going. Wee's going. There's an ether deposit like down there. Oh, on the other side of it actually, by the look of it. Okay. Oh, item. Joink. And Oh, there's an item over there too. Oh, it crafters a broad back there. He's huge, and he blends in. <laughs> you know, camouflage. That's not good. Now I can see him, but... Wow. It's two. <laughs> They're getting smarter. Pretty soon they'll know how to open doors. <laughs> Like I can go behind the waterfall. Daytime. Okay. Dark Mongol. And 
doesn't look like there's anything else. Oh, maybe there is, yeah. We can keep going. And an ether deposit. I'll grab that. Scarlet Ladybird. Pretty electric crystal. Pretty, pretty pretty. Get around there, Shulk. There you go. And that is not what that is. There it is, a mushroom. I think that's four I need now. Alright, we're closing the gap of where we need to go. Perfect. I just want to jump down and attack him, but I know I don't have a downward attack. It's not fair. Tis not very fair. Alright. Oh! Over there! Hey! Are you okay? You! Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're going to need water-type ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're going to shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water too, so I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. Hey, it's just me. Our Shulk collects some water ether crystals. Didn't I already do that? <laughs> I guess not. Alright, well we're gonna collect some water ether crystals. I'm not gonna battle anything, I don't think. I'm gonna just try to get to the crystals, get back. Avoid that giant bribe who just appeared there. It's like Houdini. Where do I have to go on the map? It's not gonna show me though, is it? That's alright. We'll just walk there anyway. Yoink! Honey rhubarb! Oh, I hear a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a funny noise that dinosaur makes. Fly bug thing. Ash fox. There's another electric dinosaur. Just gonna go around him. Black iris. Something saw me. I'm just gonna keep going. And it went away. Show up on the map where I'm supposed to go. 
I meant to do that before, but I don't think it will. Then I can warp. It'll be alright, too. I can go over there. I can warp there. That would be faster. Oh, hello. But I have these water crystals. I got them before. Didn't I? Thought I did. Power Ranger just wants to plunge over. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna jump. And hope I don't land on those rocks. Go Shulk! <laughs> this could be an achievement. Or not. I think I died. Nope. <laughs> It wasn't achievement in the last time I jumped inside the Bionis. I got these ones though, didn't I? Maybe they weren't here. Oh, I didn't get that. But I got this. Maybe that's what it was. Well, I'm here. I'm gonna get this anyway. High purity water ether crystals are needed to save a girl. There should be some near a large waterfall. And I found it. I'm gonna get poofed back because I'd be super. Huh? Huh? Who are you? Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh! What are they? Alice, get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself. From the left? Then I'll go. They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly... There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Alvin, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? That was amazing. I suggest you stop staring.
The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. I have a new partner, Alvis. Cool. Uh, Shulk Purge. New art learned. Purge, eh? Doesn't sound good. <laughs> Using Purge removes a monster's aura and temporarily prevents them from activating another aura. A Telethia aura, Solvery, is particularly strong. Use Purge to eliminate it before attacking. Remember to replenish the talent gauge by auto attacking. So you can activate the Monado. Okay. Yeah. I need to get a new party member. This will leave a mark. Take your edge. No escape. You can definitely do this. This is the Monado's power! Feel my power. Feel Behold the power of the Monado! Alvis! Nice one! <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling it! Feel my power. Dream it! No escape! Roll it! Feel yes, we can definitely power. do this! Monado, no more no power! What? Feel my power. Feel my power. Feel my power. No escape. Cross ray. You can do it. I see it. So you require my assistance. This is the Monado's power! Shook. Okay, just Whoa. one more left! Yeah! Nasty thing! Feel my power! Ha! Asma! No escape! Cross ray! Yeah! Use the power of the Monado! This is the Whoa. Monado's power! Whoa. Keep at it! Take this! Most peculiar. Alvin! It's okay! Sure. Thank you. You can do it, Sean. Yeah! I'm not quitting yet! Monado, lend us your power! Well, you see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely its spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis. How do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Sure, 
Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Charla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis, who are you? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No! I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, is it? How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold... I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone, and you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. 
She's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. We have two reserve party members. Beware of monsters with spike abilities. What? From Magna Forest onward, you will encounter monsters with spike abilities. These monsters can automatically deal damage and inflict debuff on a party member in certain circumstances. Spike damage cannot be lessened by increasing physical defense or racer defense. Less stinks. Different types of spike ability. There are three types of spike ability. Counter spike. Monster deals damage or inflicts debuff when attacked. Down spike. Monster deals damage or inflicts debuff when attacked if it is suffering topple. Close spike. The monster deals damage or inflicts debuff if a party member gets too close. Okay. Combating spike abilities, Mauro Art Purge neutralizes opponent's spike abilities for a certain length of time. Spike defense gem reduces spike damage. Also bear in mind that counter spike abilities can be neutralized by inflicting topple. And we got a level. Yay! <laughs> right on. Anyway, we're gonna end up here for today. Um yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. I'm just gonna get this item. I never took this higher path, I don't think. Gravel disc. Let's very quickly take this path, because there's another item up there. And it's just to the bridge anyway, okay, so. Ash Fox. And this is the same bridge. So. No, this bridge is out. Well, that stinks. Oh, it's over there. How do you fix that? <laughs> we need Tarzan. And anyway, I'm off here for today. Next day, we'll head towards the Nopon village. The big giant tree. We're getting closer to it. There's an enemy up there. We have a new Monado power, which is awesome. We met a new character, Elvis. I still think he's the spirit of the Monado or something. And, uh... We have a reserve party member, Melia, a very posh young lady. I don't know what her attacks are, maybe I'll take her out for a spin later. It sounded wrong, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm Azuka, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.